Have you ever felt that life has been unfair to you? Are you happy and able to enjoy your life completely? Or do you feel you are running a race that has been halted for the time being? Then this is something for you. The world we live in keeps pushing us to what's next, move on, as always, so on and so forth. We are always on a run to prove something all our lives. We study hard to get a job, earn money, and build a reputation in the society. Maybe money, possessions, and achievements must have made you happy for a little while. But did that give you the fullness of life? You see, we strive to become successful in life as per the standards set by the society. We tend to focus on others, paving ways for social comparison, leaving us with a constant feeling that it is not enough or we're not good enough. But doesn't the maker of the earth and the universe, who made us in his very own image, care for us more than the birds that do not sow or reap or store away in barns? And yet, God feeds them every single day. So here's the thing. Being content in life is different from being happy. Happiness is a result of an outcome, but contentment is about the perspective and attitude one has to their daily life. I have a job which many others do not have, but sometimes I can be grumpy and frustrated over the promotion which I did not get and feel unsatisfied. Happiness is dependent on the expectations we have, but contentment is a choice, even if our expectations don't meet. A content person looks at who he is and what he has, instead of looking at who others are and what they possess. Your worth is not in your possessions and achievements. Cherish the person that you are and all that you have. Contentment is a journey from anger to peace, from frustration to satisfaction, and from anxiety to trust. So don't stop growing. Be determined to make the right choice, the choice to be content. Never stop asking the question, what or who makes me sufficient? Having a heart of contentment is of far greater value than all the power, wealth, or the positions we have, or even our societal status. Is there anything that lasts forever that you can carry it with you when you die?